If we suspect that a tree is infected with Phytophthora remorum, then really we have to confirm it in the laboratory by either detecting the DNA of Phytophthora remorum or culturing it from that sample. So the first thing is we're very reliant on our surveyors to go out in the field and find the right sorts of samples that will be usable in the lab. They will take those samples and send them into the lab and then they go through quite a series of steps. First of all, when the sample comes in, we examine it, look at the symptoms, and then make some judgment on whether we can culture any organism that's there, usually the Phytophthora, from that material. If we don't think it's good enough for that, then we will rely on DNA detection. If we're culturing, we look for the area of the bark that's been killed by the Phytophthora, put that onto an agar plate and wait for it to grow out. If that doesn't work, then we take that same material and look for the DNA of the Phytophthora in that. And we use a machine which we call our real-time PCR machine, real-time polymerase chain reaction machine, which detects the DNA, amplifies it, and tells us whether it is remorum and gives us a read-off. Either by culturing or by this DNA detection, we get an answer. Yes, it is Phytophthora remorum. No, it isn't. And then we feed that back to our surveyors in the field so they know whether that's a positive on that particular site.